My name is Maike Doyer and I'm from Business Models Inc. Today I will give you guys 10 tips on how to run your startup. How can you improve your business? Maybe you've already heard of the book Business Model Generation and the Business Model Canvas. If not, then that's actually tip zero by the book. But if you have already uh, used the book, read about the book, used the business model canvas, that's what I will be talking about today. So tip number one is accept that your idea has zero value. That may come in as a bit of a shock, but what we mean with that is your idea at the stage where you are right now, it's just a paper version. And as long as it is on paper, it doesn't have any value because all the things that you wrote, everything that you've developed, they're guesses, they're assumptions. And what you need to do is you need to get out of the building and test your assumptions. And that's the tip number two. You need to drink more than 150 cups of coffee in the next two months. That many? Yes, that many. Because that's what you will need to really validate all your assumptions, to really understand what is the problem that I'm trying to solve for my customer important lesson within there is fall in love with the problem not in love with the solution so tip number three is stop the blah blah stop the blah blah means stop writing business plans don't spend time anymore on writing these extensive thick papers because that will only get you away from your original idea. And I haven't seen a business plan yet that survives the first customer contact. So really stop the blah, blah, stop writing business plans. That's very crucial to do. So if I need to stop writing business plans, what is it that I need to do? Well, that's tip number four, explore your options. Within the next few weeks, develop at least five business model options for your idea. Realize that there's not a single right solution for your organization. You have plenty of options. So make them concrete, make them tangible. Use the business model canvas and really explore all the business model options that you have. Don't do it alone, do it together with your colleagues. But think as a designer, that's crucial for the future of your company. Don't try to go for a single right solution, that won't help you. So explore at least five different business model options. Tip number five, know where you're going. What is your goal? What is your dream? I love one of the quotes of Walt Disney, if you can dream it, you can do it. And that goes for you as well. So really understand together with your team, where is it that you want to go? What is it that you dream of? Do you want to be a local hero? Do you want to be a global hero? Everything is possible, but it's really important to identify together with the team, where do you want to go to? What is the goal? That will help you to make choices and to really focus on becoming successful. Tip number six, one of my favorites, show me the money. Show me the money because I have seen so many business model options. They all look really nice on paper, but usually people forget to add the numbers. And don't do extensive Excel sheets or so because that's just assumptions, what I said before, but really try to figure out, okay, what about the numbers? How can I earn money? Don't rely on money from investors. Really rely on, okay, how can I, with this business, really grow money? How can I really earn a lot of money in the future with my company? What's your market share? What's the market size? How many transactions can you do with your customers? What are your costs? Just on that high level, make sure you have the numbers because if you cannot even show you're profitable on paper, you will definitely won't be able to show that in real life. Tip number seven, stop featuritas. Really start to act like a real startup and not like a mini corporate. What I see happen a lot of the time is you have an idea and no, 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 we cannot go live yet. We need to add that little feature to it and only once that is added, we can go live. Oh no, we also need to add that other element to it. Stop that, go live as soon as possible. You're a startup, it's all about searching. It's about searching for the profitable, scalable and repeatable business model. So don't spend time adding features that your customers maybe are not looking for. Stop figuritas, start acting like a real startup. Tip number eight, keep your eyes open. Don't get really obsessed with your own organization, but keep your eyes open to what else is happening in the world around you. What kind of other companies are entering the world? 
even if they're not in your industry, what can you learn from their business models? What makes their business model a big success? Can you see some patterns in there? And what kind of trends do you see? How is the world changing? Where is the world moving to? And not only the trends today, but only the, also the trends in maybe five years from now or 10 years from now. Where will you be with your organization today, five years from now, 10 years from now? Keep your eyes open to what's happening in the world around you. Tip number nine, disrupt before someone else disrupts you. I mean, constantly do it like every few months together with your team. What kind of new business model option can we come up with that would completely disrupt our business? What would be your worst nightmare? Who could really put you out of business immediately? And then, of course, try to do it yourself. Because if you don't disrupt your own organization, someone else will. And with the speed of changes, the speed of new entrants, you need to keep your eyes open and make sure you will disrupt someone else before someone else is disrupting you. Tip number 10, just do it. Just start, start working on it with everybody, with everything that you actually have. And of course, with that, use the business model canvas, stop the blah, blah, stop writing business plan, just do it, go for it, and make sure you will become a big success and conquer the whole world. Okay, thank you. If you like this video, and if you want to stay tuned to hear more tips and tricks on how you can improve your business, make sure you like us via the social media channels or share this video or this blog with all the other users around you.